Hi, it's Chris Pitt, uh, the inventor of the Reaver Maze, the Reaver Maze puzzle. I've got a, a couple of people asking how do we remove the actual shaft once they've actually succeeded in solving the puzzle. This is done um, normally by just turning the sleeve so the label faces downwards and then just tap until the actual puzzle is released. But some people are finding that it's slightly more difficult to actually remove and that's because there may be excessive grease on there or whatever that's holding the actual pin from actually happening. One technique is to have the label facing downwards and with the actual maze in the end position which means the dot actually on the sleeve literally lines up I can just show you there lines up with the dot on the actual sleeve itself there's one dot there and you can see there's a dot on the maze there that's turning and that should line up once that's lined up you can turn the puzzle over and then leave that overnight um, in that downward position so that the pin gravity will actually come down and when you come in the morning you might find it just slides out if that's still not the case the next stage would be to actually do a bit more forceful tapping what we're trying to do is not destroy the puzzle um, by denting it so we need to do it carefully the way I do it is to actually hold the shaft with my thumb so that it's pushing against the actual sleeve making sure it's in the end position taking a piece of wood like this and then using some tapping actions the idea is to actually release the actual maze and it can take a few taps before it actually physically removes as this one's doing make sure the label is always facing downwards as you're doing it now this is now not turning because the actual pin is now starting to travel into it this one's been deliberately greased up to show you the effect and as you can see I can now not turn the shaft because it's actually the pin is starting to slide into the actual sleeve itself so a couple more taps and voila it now comes out and the idea now is when you take it out be very careful because the pins actually will drop on the floor and you might lose them um, there's two pins there's one in the actual maze end and the other one here sticking up is actually the draw bar if you take that one out the draw bar will come out but as you can see the pin is not moving that's because there's grease all around it that's holding it in place there you go it's now come out so once you've taken it out the best thing to do is clean up the inside of the maze itself make sure the grease is all out of there make sure the pins has no grease on it whatsoever and then go into the sleeve itself and make sure that the sleeve is nice and smooth and clean by rubbing your finger on the inside and that way it's nice and tidy once you've got the actual maze out to reassemble you literally put the old pin back into the, the slot again make sure you have the the dot side on the actual sleeve itself and then the puzzle should a little bit of tinkering a little bit of wiggling a couple of little taps and voila now ready back for use again. If you have any major issues please get in touch with me at chrispit.pit at revamaze.co.uk or get in touch with Rachel who will help you. Um, we'll either give you advice or give you tips or if necessary you can always send the puzzle back to us and we'll clean it and make sure it's all repaired and it's fully functional again. So hopefully it's been useful for you. Anyway thanks very much.